My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Slay the Spire Downfall. We're going to be playing the Automaton. I've already learned it's going to be a good one. I've divined it from the ether. The spirits have told me we're in for a good one. Uh, midline rest, early rest. Uh, basically, it just comes down to... I'm going to take two elites, but do I want a bunch of question marks early? Yeah, let's take those. First smith here is almost always for go-to because it gets so much better. We'll start looking for archetype tools immediately. Iterate. Ooh. Two, three. three. I mean, iterate is really good. We've used it a lot of times before. Blockchain is really good. We've used it a lot of times before. We haven't used front load, but front load is not really a damage plan, and that's what we have to take care of first. Sure, I'll take it, right? Fine. There's more than one way to utilize that iterate as the thing. Hey, here's a way of gaining some strength just with a compile. Okay. Sure. Get rid of strike as well, more than happily. Blackjack Mastermind or Gremlin Flip. Blackjack is the only one we haven't done. And I can't count cards. In Blackjack, you compete against the dealer to try and assemble the hand of poker cards with the highest value without going over 21. Different cards are worth different values. 2 through 10 are worth the same as their number. Face cards are worth 10. Ace is worth 1 or 11, depending on what's better for your hand. You and the dealer both start with two cards, and you can only see one of their cards. During your turn, you can choose to hit or stand. If you hit, you'll add another random card to your hand, but if that total causes you to go over 21, you bust and lose. If you're satisfied with your hand's current total value, you choose to stand, at which point the dealer begins their turn. They'll continue to hit until their total value is 17 or more. If they don't go bust, whoever has the highest hand total wins. Winning pays out about three times the bet. I bet 50, because that's all I could. So my hand value is 15 right now. So if I take a hit, I can only get... I can, I, like, I'm only safe. Oh, the enemy has an ace. Ace? Really? Ugh. So the minimum value in their hand right now, assuming the ace is going up, right? Minimum value in their hand right now is like 13. Almost every combination of a hand that they could currently have will beat my current hand. The only one that doesn't beat it right now is a two and a three. Literally just those two cards, right? So eight out of 52 cards in the deck. Uh, I, I have to hit. Yeah, I lose. Of course that was how that was going to happen. I, I, I didn't want to hit there. I, I wanted to stand, but the enemy is showing an ace. I, I had to. 49, sure, there you go. So I've got 12. They're showing a 10. Okay. I definitely hit in this position. Only hitting a 10 or a face card makes me bust. All right. <laughs> and again, on the other side, they're showing a 10. So only... Actually, no, they they could not have lost with what they were showing, right? If I, uh, if I stood. Because in their hand, they either had an ace, in which case they already had a 21 on board and I was screwed from the outset. Or... They had a two, in which case they're already tied with me on board. The math fails a little bit based on I can't remember whether or not the dealer wins in a break. In in uh, in there being an even amount on either side. My bad on that. Ah, oh, Quebeco! Yes, please! I got the... the Punch Man. Iterate. We'll work really well with that. Merge Conflict. Next time you encode a card, encode a copy of it. Yep, that's the way that we're going to want to try and set up the... Boost. I'd love to encode a copy of GoTo, but... Really ought to defend on that turn.
Great. That'll set us up against the Gremlin Wizard. Nice. Overload. Play a copy of each card in the sequence they don't encode. Yeah, Turbo and Constructor. Fine without those. Yeah, I'm not willing to just take a billion damage to these constantly. That's a potion usage. Deprecate bit shift. Choose card in the sequence of return to your hand. It gains retain. Additional effect that triggers when this card while in the sequence is combined into a function. Okay, so I can't I can't double up on the combine by pulling it back out and playing it again. I didn't expect that I could, but I wanted to make sure that that wasn't just a mechanic that I was overlooking. All right, so we get boost at least next turn. No merge conflict into it though. It's fine, we'll just try and get it up as soon as possible. More than happy to have a turn that's just a double defend. Easy one to pass. Yeah, that's fine. We take one damage here and the future becomes a lot easier. Shuriken! Oh, we are really getting strength now. Terminator. Oh, Terminator is really good on go to and iterate. It's really not great on boost. It said, I very seldom regret taking that. Thank heck, this one's going to be zero costed because otherwise, yikes. Constructor, turbo branch. No, thank you. So, uh, upgrade. I mean, the first one should probably be on the iterate and then terminator. I think that was worth. And then if I put an iterate up there, that becomes an attack card. So I have the ability to play it against this enemy still. But if I put a boost up there, the iterate gets more powerful. We'll go with this. where the Terminator would have been nice on zero cost. <laughs> we turned it into a build your own duel. Nice kill. Like marbles as well as sticky shields. It's a feature bug barrage. We're not really trying to run any sub theming along those lines. Merge conflict with the replicate, and then use Terminator to kill someone, and then I'm gonna kill the other as well. Just clean up the battlefield to touch. Nice. Let's free up a potion slot. I'm not gonna be too sad to have done that. Blockchain. No, I think we're going to try and stick to being aggressive here. Well, this one's simple. Go to, iterate, terminator, and then do it again. Okay. 
I'm starting to feel like that boost is not really what I want to have in this deck at all. Oh, well. Okay, we're going to draw a bunch of cards here. Because it would have sucked to not be able to defend any significant amount this turn. I say as I don't defend any significant amount this turn. Yeah, I'll take the 17 when I know that I've got lethal coming off the back of it. But I really want to cut the rest of the cards out. Ooh, virus. Deal three damage, transform all cards in hand into a minor beam. That minor beam is real good for a shuriken. Let's do it. Gain energy and random status to your discard pile at the start of each turn. Oh, I wish. It's either Coffee Drip or Astrolabe for us. Take Coffee Dripper. I want to be able to add more drawing to this deck. Support that with extra energy as well. Um, okay, if I want to take a two elite path that isn't just frankly suicidal, I've got to take it over the right here. Might have been plus. So literally it's just more damage on all of them. One more damage on all of them, that is. Terminator and Virus both still want an upgrade. I'm gonna recall that point of strength is going to be the same as upgrading Virus, but upgrading everything else at the same time as well, so... Seems the right one to upgrade. Nice. Delayed Slice, Max Output. It's the kind of card that we want in a deck like this right now, right? This whole go the heck off deck that we're trying to do right now. I should have just triple attacked the bird in the back line. That would made the most sense right there. Oh. Hit the back line, get them on the ground as well. Make these all a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, go to doesn't seem bad here. I was certain the bird in the back line was dead there. Well done. You rumbled me. A root juice, sure, definitely worth it. Flail as well. I mean, it's good AOE damage, something we're lacking. We do have extra energy as well. We play a lot of cheap functions, and double playing this attack is double for the, the shuriken triggers as well. The the break there is just on the side of Flail because we already have the extra. Oh, no. I wish Terminator was free right now. Yes, I don't iterate. No, I think iterator is actually still probably worth more for us. So it's Iterate, replicate, terminate. Let's throw a single strike out and then use the fast copy. That's ah, enough damage for turn one, I think. Just enough damage for turn one. Boost into go to. 
Hit him with that virus. I'm just doing this for points of strength right now. So I can't make the enemy vulnerable again, unfortunately. Two, three, and then... You know what? I'm gonna use the draw potion here. Should use a strike before that. My bad. Then we get back into the other one that does a bunch of damage. We actually may kill the merchant on the... Is this our first... I think this is our first time seeing the merchant, right? Yep. <laughs> Ooh, another iterate. Yeah, we're a strength scaling deck. Through and through. Uh, if a target, sorry, if using a single target attack, if the target has no vulnerable, apply one vulnerable. That seems really good here too. Let's take that. We want to start removing cards from the deck that we don't really want to use. Honestly, boost, merge, conflict, both. Flail kind of at this point as well. Oh. Uh... Single fine tuning, does that even go in here? Yes. Gain 150 souls for Akabeko, a rare card for Shuriken, or three potions to the back of marbles. Uh none of those? Even slightly? Love it when a kill is so simple. Don't need the follow ups there. Lantern, study to combat with digital energy. Sure. Break the ruby for a single point of strength and then also upgrade uh, Terminator and max output. Both want an upgrade as soon as possible. There's Terminator, so we should try and hope that we hit. Oh. Something that we actually want to double play here would have been the thing we should hope we should hit. If nothing else is decent damage on that turn, it's just not going to be anything to follow up on. Hey, you know what? I think we actually just straight up have lethal. I'll do it. Silver bullet. Start each combat with a piercing shot in sequence. I don't know if I want that. I mean, it does give us AoE damage, so, you know, flail seems a little less necessary after it. I'll take it, but I'm not happy about it. Iterate with the Terminator and then just flail for the kill on everyone. Definitely didn't make a difference there. Reasonable defense. Follow with another Iterate or... I think it is the extra iterate, right? And then that has its cost decreased, and then I can boost piercing iterate, replicate virus, and just try and go off that way. Get as much strength out of that as we can. Honestly, once we're at six strength, do we really need much else? Or do we just keep playing our cards? Don't want the infinite loop in the deck either. See, this is the problem. We've got fine tuning and it's going to be fine tuning a piercing shot to do what? Nothing really much extra. Ah, because that didn't have a target. It didn't play it again. So it didn't do the AOE damage again. Interesting. Let's 
finally drink that potion. Constructor comes pre-upgraded, but no. If I draw it in the opening hand, it goes into a hand where I already have something else. Flail then Terminator. It's good damage. It's good damage at least. Another max output. I mean, look, we literally just want to try and blow everything up on turn one or turn two. If we take this second max output, we're going to have a bad time against the, <laughs> the end of the game. But at the same rate, I think our plan for the end of the game is just get mad potions. Just trying to be as potent as we can. Those. As I iterate. Let's go boost and go to. Thank you. Then we can iterate, iterate, and fine tuning both of those iterates. I shouldn't have played the Replicate yet. I could have just played a Terminator to finish that one off. And that's ultimately what we're going to work towards. Just invalidating the fight like that. Uh, hard coded. Oh. That's where I'm gonna wanna have the iterate, iterate, terminator set up. Gain a strength, transform a status in your hand into a copy of this. It's one cost. I'm always paying one cost for one strength. That's pretty hard to do in a deck that. Yeah. Wants to go faster than all of that. I'm going to take a hard code and we'll see if we can make it work. Sure, transform all the base cards in the deck. Dev tools, flail, another iterate. Some pretty reasonable highlights in there. Also not a huge amount of defense, but it's okay. Let's focus on the highlights. You know what? I think I'm going to treat this one as a speed run. I don't think we're going to now. I, I will upgrade hard code and I'm trying to get the specifically good one that I keep mentioning. Flail. Yeah, I'm not going to do it in this fight though. Philosophize. I like the idea of it, but no. We gain our strength faster in other ways now. Hmm. Create a function immediately out of the sequence. Exhaust. I could create a function immediately out of the sequence, then put up an iterate. No, I need two iterators. Let's exhaust the cards in this function. I'll play hard code first. There's the two iterates. One iterate. Two iterates. Then we use the fine tuning and then we use terminator. And now that card just goes into the deck. So now we just have the past iterate three damage five times, three damage five times, play it again.
So we've taken some damage to do it, but we may have just set up the best card. That'll be fine. Whew. Rough one to play there, though. So we want a class default. Is that always going to be zero in its cost? Because it was zero cost when it came out of the bronze core? That's lovely, if so. Chrono, not needed. Invincible, not needed. You are mine. A bit more source to vulnerability and weakness. One thing we're definitely lacking. I'm gonna go back to trying to fight the elites. As in, that's now. Whenever an attack deals unblocked damage applied to soul burn. Oh, this would be exactly the deck for it. Crumble. I honestly don't think this succeeds against now. I think it's one of those fun deck archetypes that does everything fine, except for Nya. Yep. Yeah, it functions exactly how we'd hope. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. Don't need any of those. Go to with a fine tuning on it is pretty much always a good time. We've got to be able to get to the actual. There we go. Fast it right. He was there somewhere. Format. This copy's a fragment. We've seen it before. Repulsor. I mean, look. Single copy of that is still pretty good. With the Nya fight still upcoming. Which we're apparently still going to. Oh my god. The damage of this iterate with the Archibeko specifically is just hilarious. We got this. The amount of draw that we have as well sets up for just real, real good viruses. It's our long game that's lacking. But I think we're too late to pull up. So honestly, I'm going to try and just power through and hope that it ends up working. Because sometimes it does. Sometimes you take that gamble and then you j hit jackpot. Don't need to get latest in here either. Cursed key or calling bell. It's extra cursed. Would you like to take another deal? No, I'm fine. Uh, whenever you open a non-boss chest, obtain two cursed. Uh, two cursed, rather. Um... Oh, wow, there actually is a chest for a do effect. I'm going to skip it, but I felt like that was probably the best opportunity to get that in because it wasn't going to have any impact. Still got me, game. Yeah, still got me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So there's a fun thing about this where we... Oh, right, the second one, of course, is not going to be affected as well. Dang. 
I was hoping we were just going to blow up the enemy instantaneously there. Instead, we'll take just a moment longer to do it. That'll do. This was very much a overcommit to the first thing you see kind of build, but then it got supported by the rest of the run as well. the replicate out on this one code the not chosen option honestly i'm gonna go to the dev tools and use decompile get rid of both of those then boost flail and the other flail that comes back at zero cost and we can use that for a whole mess of damage hit him with the replicate and an iterate if that hadn't have killed we would have had to kill easily next turn hmm so he's come up with an artifact eh i don't really get temp effects We tend to go all the way with ours. You know, what, what, uh, this is actually good, though. We'll drop the weak potion and the attack potion and take a flex potion and an ancient potion. And then remove a wild beam. Move onwards. So we actually will be able to keep the five strengths from the flex potion now. I'm hoping the first fight's quite simple. We build a lot of strength in the first combat and then just use it to roll through the next two enemies and then I can pop all my potions in now. I can use Virus to get rid of some of the... some of the worst defenders in this hand. Things I definitely don't want to play. I like getting it right out on the board, but I also like removing it. I think I prefer the removal. That'll get him. Flawed. Let's throw out the flail and the go-to. Don't need to do anything else. So the minor scratch will set up the vulnerability on the enemy. We can follow that up with a pass to iterate. All right, enemy dead. <laughs> now where's the next one? This is what I was talking about when I was saying I hope we can keep the rest of it for now. Really did not foresee it being an issue. Right, I'm going to branch to deal the damage. Use the dev tools to get decompiled. Burn those two just for energy and draw. And literally we get back to this hand, which is just... Damage. Just, it's just damage and functions. Which is exactly where we want to be. I'm liking the decompile option. That is something that I've found in this run. The devs tools decompile is very, very useful. Exceedingly so. Almost too useful. Alright, we'll definitely start with the past iterate still.
they add curses to my draw pile, uh, or when they add curses to my draw pile, they also add one status. Uh, she doesn't gain strength during her next debuff turn because I've already dealt more than 150 damage to her, and she has barricade. Nice. Couldn't even make me more uh, vulnerable here. Beautiful. And we, hang on, flail, fine tuning, and then virus everything away. Unfortunately, we won't get to play the first card that comes out of that. We'll get to play the second and then use a potion to defend ourselves. We actually may do this without taking a single hit. It's increasingly quite likely. Gotta get the bewildered out of the hand there, unfortunately. Okay. Devs tools to get decompiled, but before I do anything, we throw the past iterate. Then I would have thrown decompile, drawing the past iterate again. Thrown it again. Thin decking with this character is super viable, is the thing. Because you can set yourself up in such a situation that you thin the deck down to just those cards. Or just the functions those constituent cards have created. This is probably the fastest we've ever killed Meow as well. 36 minutes. Hell of a speedrun and a half right there. So I'm going to speedrun the outro too. At the moment, my name is Mirapsi. The name of the game has been slated by downfall. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content of the game, past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time. If symptoms persist, please see your doctor.